Hello friends, I'm Aga from Arquist Artist and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create your very own animated curtain model using Marvel's designer. You can use it in animations or cinemagraphs like this one. We created a tutorial on how to do this. If you haven't seen this yet, the link will be in the corner. Marvel's Designer is a great tool which allows you to create a fabric-like models and simulate them very easily. We use it a lot uh, to model uh, things like beds, uh, blankets, pillows or curtains. Let me show you how it works from scratch. We need to have the context. Here is the scene I used before. I want to have an animated curtain here. We will have to create an avatar which will help us make a simulation. The less polygons, the better. So I create simple boxes instead of complex windows models. We don't need the whole scene, just the objects that will block the wind. If your curtain might hit something, you will have to include this object as well. After you have all the objects you need, just select them and export selected objects as OBJ. Now let's open the Marvel's Designer and import the OBJ model. Make sure the option Load as Avatar is checked. As you can see, our objects were imported correctly. In the other viewport, let's choose a rectangle tool and draw the curtain. Next, let's draw a smaller rectangle. This will be the size of the folded curtain. We have to connect them using the segment sewing tool. Make sure the sew is not crossed. Let's move the curtain to the correct position. We have to freeze the top part, otherwise they would both fall into the ground. After it's done, we are ready to start the simulation. You can start it using the spacebar tool. Here we can change the preview to wireframe. We can make it less dense by increasing the particle distance option. Let's change the mesh to quads instead of triangles. Now we can simulate more quickly. I will position the curtain in the right place.
If something is not right, you can just drag and move some parts of the fabric. When you are happy with the position, we can turn on the wind force. Go to Display, Environment and click on Show Wind Controller. Now we have to position the wind arrow so it's working in the right direction. You just have to activate it to make it work. Looks awesome! You can play with other options and see how they affect the simulation. Frequency is important. It will make the wind not constant, just like in the real life. I don't like that so much of the curtain is touching the ground, so I will move it up slightly. Let's make the wind less strong. I will move it up a bit more. After you are happy with the result, you can increase the mesh density. I will make it 10, but if your computer cannot simulate it, just use a larger value. Now, the wind is way too strong, so I will decrease the strength. When we get the strength value, we have to turn off the wind, so the curtain is in the starting position. Stop the simulation and change the mode from simulation to animation. Just turn on the wind and start animation. It might take a while.
it's done. We can make it slower. If we use value 2, it means that the animation will be 2 times slower. Now it's time to export the model. Go to Export, OBJ and save your file. We don't have to export avatars. Import the file to your software. But the curtain is not moving. We have to import the animation file too. Go to export and use point cache to option. We'll use point cache modifiers and load animation file. Another issue. The position is not right. To fix it, go back to Marvel's designer and export point cache again. This time change the Y up axis to Z and invert it. Reload the animation file inside the modifier. Now it looks great. I hope you'll find this really useful. You can download our curtain model uh, and compare it with your results. The link will be in the description. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.